Now, being a father, it's kids clutter underfoot that causes me the most problems. They may be the smallest people in the house, but they have their fair share of stuff, don't they? Books, clothes, homework, toys. So it's actually the kids' bedroom storage I'm going to be sorting out first. If your kid's bedroom looks like this and you're crying out for clever storage ideas to help maximise floor space, or if bunk beds mean twice as many toys left on the floor, then this week's major make will provide a genius and fun storage solution that you can make yourself at home. And to help, I'm bringing in interior designer Jill and fabulous furniture maker Raphael. Ah, the very people. I'm going to set you the biggest possible challenge to design yep. me an amazing kids bed. I also want to make use of storage, so I want something that's, like, utilitarian, but I also don't want it to be boring. I think what might be nice is to put something in the middle of the wall and maybe round the corners off so you don't get that boxy bunk bed feel. And then maybe in the round bits we could add storage elements. So, Raphael, what sort of storage can you build in? Well, I'll tell you what we should avoid is uh, putting doors on. So, uh Drawers, shelves, secret little compartments. Kids love all of that malarkey. They do. We need a theme then, don't we? Yeah. So at the moment he's into, he's into ninjas, he's into space, uh, he likes dinosaurs, he likes dinosaurs. superheroes. Dinosaurs. You like dinosaurs? That would be great to do. All right, smash him. I'll leave you to it. We'll see you in a Thanks, bit. Thanks, Hank. All right. Cheers. For this dinosaur bed, Jill and Raphael will use a ready-made kids' loft bed that costs around 200 quid from any high street or online store. Raphael will create circular storage space and shelving at both ends with cubby holes and a secret compartment. Below the bed, there'll be a hideout with further storage and it will all come together with a dinosaur theme, which we're keeping under wraps for now. While Jill works on the reptilian furnishings, Raphael's enlisted the help of Carpenter Beth to get their heads around the design of the bed. I was told it's going to be a dinosaur bed, and I had these visions of. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> how can we make it more. <laughs> what about if we gave them the option of having some sort of mouth? Okay. <laughs> how would. What, with individual teeth, like cut out so that. But what about if we did a couple of sheets? Yeah. And then we did, so we have, we do it so you have to step into the mouth. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's really cool. Now, a loft bed is not the only solution to solve storage and create space. Here are my five top tips to help you get more out of your kid's bedroom. Create more floor space for kids to play on in small bedrooms by furnishing upwards. Loft beds such as the one we're adapting this week come in lots of different shapes and sizes and have extra shelving you can make invaluable use of. Try taking the doors off a built-in cupboard to open up the room and you can also reconfigure the shelves yourself or add extra ones in. Colour-coordinated baskets, bins and tubs keep things organised and encourage the kids to tidy up, apparently. These can go in drawers, under beds, or on your newly opened up built-in cupboards. Wall storage looks good and is easy to create, like these clever bungee laces tied through drilled holes in a piece of MDF. Perfect for keeping favorite soft toys off the floor and in the one place. Ottoman beds with built-in storage keep clutter out of sight, and you can create or buy your own underbed storage solutions on wheels, or in box form too. Our major make feature this week is for a kid's bedroom. Raphael is busy working on a dinosaur-themed platform bed that will have built-in storage space and a play area underneath. And he's got a nifty cheat up his sleeve, which you can easily copy at home. What we're doing for this particular assignment, we've, uh, we've pre-ordered a bed and we're decorating around to make it look like something it's not. And uh, this, what I'm doing now, is part of the storage section. Beth's helping Raph as he's chosen a complicated design with curved sheets of birch plywood. If you don't feel confident enough to do this yourself, a skilled carpenter could do the job for you for under £500 and fit the units to a shop-bought loft bed. Or you could make much simpler storage boxes yourself. But there's something that will make this child's bed unique. This cabinet is the one that's going to have a secret compartment, although is it still a secret if I'm telling you? Don't worry, your secret's safe with me, as you'll find it's not me with the big mouth. 
As part of the design, Beth's creating massive dinosaur jaws. We've chosen a prehistoric theme, but you can choose anything your kids love, really. So am I going to get my teeth or not? Uh, they are being done <laughs> at the moment. I yeah. don't want a gummy dinosaur. Well, what do you think? Because <laughs> they can't be pointy because the kids are going to hurt You've themselves got to think they get in safe, and out. Mate. So what do you think? That's a very good point. So we yeah. make it a herbivore. Herbivore, vegan power. Lots of molars. <laughs> Lots of molars. No canines. <laughs> now, that actually makes sense. I'm a little bit worried that um, where you've got these individual teeth, mm -hmm. that they're going to be easy to kick out. Could yeah. you route that out so that, that you get a, like a profile and then we could paint that red and the teeth white? So cut out this shape, the internal shape, but then what have a different depth so that it makes a differentiation between the yeah, gums and the teeth. Just take the profile down on the oh, gum yeah, and then yeah. when you paint that in red and the white, tooth white, that's, that's going to... be a good idea. That is a good idea, yeah. Is it? It's, it's yeah, burning like me that. to say it, but it is a good idea. I like to have one every programme. That, that might be it. <laughs> We're coming to the end of our day here at Home Improvement HQ, but we saved the best for last. It's time for the big reveal of this week's major make, and it's awesome. Oh, look at that. Hey. See, that's fantastic, isn't it? What kid's not going to love that? Adventure playground and practical at the same time. This has come up beautifully as well, and these teeth are good. That, was, wonder, that worked out really yeah, well, didn't yeah. it? I wonder who suggested that. Uh, that's all, not, not that I'm pointing <laughs> that out first of all, I'm just saying. Well, I think Derek and Doris here are a bit traumatised. Amazing. I wonder what was going to happen at the top here, because obviously, when you get to this height, without that bit on the top, I think it would look yeah. like a lizard. This has really finished it off. Yeah, I like it a lot, because if you're in bed, you're, you know, it's, the bed's actually quite tucked away. Mm. Now, I didn't think this would take my weight before, but I think it will now, won't it? Of course he will. Yeah, but look, if you're laying in this, you can't be seen. And... Peekaboo. <laughs> That's kind of cool, isn't it? Oh, I love it. I really love it. So, what are your favourite bits of it? I just think it's a really practical but fun bed because it's got all the storage in there and it's fun. Am I getting have a look at Have a go in it? Yeah. This is great because you've got toys and paints and clothes. And all this storage in here is great. And the idea is the storage is all open, so it makes it a little bit easier for the kids to um, tidy up, in theory. It's a proper den, isn't it? It really is. Yeah, like, it's really good. You know, any kid's going to love being hidden away in here. Now, I got in all right, but it's like... That's getting out. There you go. Beauty. Oh. And, of course, the secret compartment. What secret, secret compartment? compartment? Oh, a secret compartment around the side here. Oh, I love it. <gasps> <laughs> oh, who wouldn't want that? I really love it. I think it's a great bed. I think it's a, it's a really good effect. Essentially, what we've got is a standard bed, but we've got MDF front and back, and we've cut a hole in it. Exactly. Anybody could do that. Exactly. There's no major difficulty. The hardest part of it was doing the quadrant. That is something that probably call a tradesman in for. But in actual fact, if you mm. were to just build upright boxes, people could do that too. Exactly. What do you reckon? Do you think people could have a go at something like this at home? Yeah, I think so. I mean, that was the idea, really. We talked about making it from scratch or being able to make it from a, you know, ready-made loft bed with mm. added bits. So you add the bits that you want. Brilliant. All right, well, a very good job. Thank you very much. Love it. To make this amazing dinosaur bed that you can copy at home, our super crafters bought a loft bed available from most retailers, created curved storage units with shelving at either end made from birch plywood and MDF. And by the way, if you're lacking in DIY confidence, you could probably buy shelves to the height of the bed to save time. Then all you need to do is create a themed MDF front to tie it all together. Make sure you choose a theme with your child, something they'll like, my boy loves dinosaurs, and then create a relevant artwork on the front leading into an inner den. Finally, create a secret compartment, so secret your child will think they're the only ones that know about it. What child wouldn't want this?